Hello everyone, I'm Jarten and today we're gonna take a look at some compass in Day by Daylight. First camper is uh, Huntress. Just look for yourself, he's gonna uh, run around, protect a hook, doesn't let anyone near it, doesn't let anyone unhook me. Even if this guy is trying to go in for the safe, he's gonna be chased away. Uh, normally what I would do is go and yeah, hit him once and then chase him, put him in a dying state and maybe hook him. But no, this guy com comes back, looks for another survivor. Um, the other survivors aren't interested in helping me. Well, fuck you. Um, Nevertheless, the killer is a real asshole in this part of the video. Now, let's be honest, if I would knew someone is being camped, I would try to go and save him, uh, go near if I do realize he is being camped hard, then I would just go on the generators, that's what the survivors are doing. Um, there's gonna be Dwight who's gonna try to uh, save me next, but at this point, if I was him, I wouldn't go here, I would go and uh, heal David. And yeah, so that's the end of match for me. The uh, worst kind of campers there are in the Dead by Daylight are people who does just that. He just hits you when <coughs> you're on the hook. <coughs> he probably has some uh, psychological problems. But uh, the worst people to camp in this game are people camping with the Wraith and Freddy. They're both fucking invisible. How, how in the hell would you camp with someone who's invisible? Being invisible um, gives you an advantage over other survivors and you can easily track him. But no, this guy is just standing behind me and I hear the bell. And the next um, thing that you will know about the campus is they're gonna go straight to the unhooked survivor to hit him again and put him down. They won't go for the guy that saved him, they will go for you. So that's another asshole move. Unfortunately I don't have unbreakable so I cannot heal myself. But I will crawl away, um, hide my grunts of pain in the grunts of pain the other survivor and I'm just gonna lie here until the death. Uh, that's better I think for me to bleed out than uh, being hanged by this motherfucker. Now he is slashing the hanging survivor so another big move. I think he's got some uh, screw loose in his head. After a while I crawled back upstairs and let out. Let's see who this motherfucker is. What a surprise. Right, and another Huntress. Uh, this time it's time for face camp. So this motherfucker won't leave. He will just stand behind me and just wait for someone to come and save me. Um, well, uh, he, sees this, he sees this guy, he's just ch chased a bit, he knows the uh, gates are being powered, so what I would normally do is to chase them off because they're going for the exits, but no, fucking compass like that, they just gonna stand in front of the victims and just camp you to the death. Real fucking dick move. Now 
now I am being saved but like a uh, previous guy this guy gonna go straight for me now he slashes the uh, my savior and now he's lagging notice that he's lagging a lot and he's gonna chase me down and I'm going back on another fucker to my campus compilation enjoy assholes Right, here I am in the basement, so I don't see much, but I hear the heartbeat. I see uh, Claudette waving uh, her arm at the killer, so I know he's just standing there. Now, Claudette tried to drive him away, but he wouldn't go. The other survivor came in, tried to help me, but he was just there. So, another fucker camper. And another rave in this compilation. This guy is, yeah, is gonna slash me, so another nutcase. Um, he's just gonna run around, doesn't care about the other survivor. Um, seriously, this is the best time to look for the other guy, because there's only two of us, and I'm not going anywhere could just go, look, find him, and I don't know what this guy is doing, he's in the basement, um, probably waiting at the hut, never mind, but another camper asshole. And this is a little bit of different example where I'm actually not being camped, someone else is being camped and I'm gonna go and try to help them. Now, this guy has Kindred on, which is a great perk. I'm making, I'm making some noise, try to lure the Achille, but he doesn't move. Now, there's all three of us here, and the nurse is just standing and waiting for someone to go in. Now, we are trying to distract uh, the killer, while well, the uh, third person is taking the guy off the hook, and of course he is beginning the chase. Now he's not chasing the guy who saved him, he's chasing the uh, injured one, so we gonna try to block him as best as we can, and yes, so I'm trying to push him off, he just blinks away, missed this. Now, yeah, he knows he's gonna go this side, so I'm gonna block him again, take a hit for the injured survivor, and this is how we fucked up the camper. Fuck you, camper. And what do we have here? Ah, yes, the doctor. Um, one of the best killers in the game. You really don't need to camp with the doctor. He's scary, he has uh, great powers, great skills, but, well, low level players, well, no skill at all. They just gonna camp you. And this guy tries to help me, tries to unhook me. Uh, he's getting the treatment and yeah this is like I said before this is the thing they're gonna go for you for the injured survivor to get you down um, this is a very dick move I don't like that but this guy's uh, not chasing the other guy he just comes back and kills me motherfucker and who are you, bitch? Yeah, we don't know. Another Huntress. Now, this guy has some skills with throwing hatchets, which you will see in the moment, but he's still being an asshole camping the hooked survivors. So, 
he's gonna go over there and just stand there like he think uh, no one sees him or hear the uh, fucking lullaby so I'm being unhooked and the hatlet comes in bang well that was a very good throw but uh, being an asshole doesn't make you a good killer so go back on the hook and guess what he's gonna look for lorry but not far away um, he's gonna just uh, run around and wait for someone to come in and eventually someone will come in but at this point let's see we got the uh, exit gates uh, probably opened by now so staying at the one location isn't really good for the killer so he comes uh, uh, he comes ace and of course after a little bit chase I'm going down with another hatchet now at this point Lori should just take one hit and run away she cannot do much but uh, unfortunately she will sacrifice herself for nothing thanks for that but it wasn't necessary and yeah so this guy's got three instead of two thanks for watching see you next time